<laughs> well, guys, apparently we now have a, I have a snow day on my hands. Ah, what's a better day to do this than just what's there to do on a snow day when it's nothing to do? Well, that's I'm making my let's play of Earthbound. Hey, everybody, Cool Pika here, and welcome back from our let's play of Earthbound. In the last part, we we, we ventured toward the deep darkness, and along the way, we ran into Belch. And not only that, Chino has returned and saved us unexpectedly. And now he had, not only that, he has now mastered Starstorm as he said he would. And now we have a powerful move on our side. Which means nothing can stop us now. It is a powerful storm to be reckoned with. And in this part, we will continue venturing toward deep darkness to see if there's anything about a city sanctuary location. And what lies at the end. As you can see, we've already reached our destination. Or at least, almost our destination. Okay, first things first, there is a location that we can go to where we can get a photo. I am believing it's somewhere around here. If I'm right. There's also a parrot. Oh, um... And of course we're gonna get into a fight with some enemies right here. Slugs. Okay. okay, so we gotta take care of these slugs right here. This is all oh, wow. That's taking very longer than I thought. Use fire, um we'll just do regular attack sense so you just these are just one of those enemies that'll die in really fast. Alright. All down just like that. Okay, um... I'm going to go... F I need, actually, before I go anywhere, I need to go find that place where you can get that photo because however I apparently have not run into that yet that's oh. I don't know where it is And I have to get, of course, there's gonna be some fight going on. Um, okay. Good damn it. Oh, I. Oh, restore again. Oh, the. Restore. Keep pulling that up again. Ah, uh, sorry for the little signs right there. Um. I'm just be tired. I haven't done much all day. Um. By the way, guys, um, if you hear like a, you know, I'll take care of that later. I'll do it the next time we'll come here because we will come back here later. So yeah, I will be sure to get that photo. Wherever that is. Where it is. Overall, um, let's ignore that tree for now. But as we made it, we see a cave over here. It's inside. And as we can see now, we have stumbled upon a new race. We're shy. We're shy. And 
hotel we live. Stay? Okay, you stay. Okay, that one's not shy. It's not even a bed. Why are we even sleep? This is a weird. We're all shy. Rumor I heard the big shyness there is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. There's also, and now, and here's another hot spring, which are our only two hot springs in existence, and this is just one of the two. So yes, overall there are only two hot springs that work the same as last time. Good all over. Okay, there is also an item shop here, but they're shy. There's a rock over here. Shy. No. There's only one Tenno who's not shy. It's me, buddy. You know what? There's something scary that comes out of the ground. So we cover up that hole. There are lots of dinosaurs there. I went through there once, but I came right back because it was a pro prize. There's a talking stone that talks a lot. You didn't go and see? I understand. But I'm not strong as I look. I'm sorry, I can't help you. The guy next to me is strong, but he lacks conversation skills. He needs the other kind of sun to shine his fur. Okay, so much for that. Seems like we'll not be going anywhere anytime soon. So our progress has been a bit delayed, so we need to find something called the Book of Shyness. Over here we see some collection of junk. The phone over here, if you want to use it. And go have, say, your progress, then bring stuff. There, that's what I can right here. A mailbox. And a trash can. And here is the death ray. One that's missed from items. Now let's... We want to get rid of the... Jerky. We want to give that to... Jeff. Science says here, we're drunk. They have no and so we might as well head S way to find anything else out. And find out the book of shyness. Hello, it's been a while since we talked. This is the Apple Kid. We're having beautiful weather here. I am now a doctor in this lab in Winters. The doc the doctor doesn't seem to be around right now. But I'm just working on my eraser eraser machine. Uh oh. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Hey! Oh no! What are you doing with me? Who are you? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark! Click. Jordan, I haven't talked to you with an agent. This is the Arch Kid. We're finally coming near to the end of our research on how to change boiled eggs into a egg. By the way, Apple Kid is missing. He left saying that that we that he went was going to see Doctor Adonis in the winters, and he never came back. I was hoping to buy the over book over common shyness around, but suddenly he disappeared. I haven't read the book, so I'm not very good at talking. Sorry. I'm also hard working hard on my invention, so I hope to, you'll understand. Say hello to your friends with me! Oh. And it begins. The part I have not been looking forward to. And it's now coming to reality. Yes. It's time. For the part I'm going to dread a lot. And you're going to see why I'm not looking forward to this part. But in, I will explain it in due time, but for now, let's head back to winter. And and for funds, now we got Pooh back, we will not have any problem with having trouble with this teleport, so 
the spin in circles. Okay, since it's been a while, let's talk to these monkeys right here. People right here. It's me again, that chewing gun wise monkey. My husband left me to go left me here to go play with Tessie along with destroy the like Tessie. Oh great. So apparently seems like the monkey has cheated on the Seems like our monkey friend has cheated on this little monk girly monkey with the big derpy dinosaur. Smith, long time to see. You've got taller. Oh, I don't have time to chat right now. Tony's missing. I thought it was with you. He suddenly disappeared. He's usually very responsible, at least a note at least. Oh dear. Now he's missing. Okay, I want to make a few you notice scenes of winter. Since our last visit, things have changed. The same enemies will not spawn as used to. As you can see, most of Gygas' armies has now infestated the winters. We have now alien enemies everywhere that are more powerful. So be aware of that and be ready for what's about to hit you. Because it won't be pretty. Okay, we have a woolly. Here we have a woolly shambler and a rolling robo. I. As for stats, I do not know. And plus, the. Just looking weird alien. Tie creatures as always. Don't disappoint. Okay, with that we won. So yes, there are now. So Gaiga has. It just shows that Gaiga's invasion has now begun. They're really starting. So yes, seems like Gaiga's invasion is starting to make progress. So yes, we might as well start making our. So now we must do whatever we can to stop this evasion because at this point it's starting to get worse. So scenes are now starting to fall set in motion. It'll only be a matter of time from this point on. Right. Since you don't like, since you can't make your shortcut to the Dr. Anna's lab. The best way to go to is actually we need to go to see that monkey and Flo and Tessie again. Okay, and a, on another note. If you brought the pencil eraser with you, which I don't think I probably did, I recommend bringing that because you can create a shortcut. You can actually now create a shortcut through, through there with the pencil eraser at Winters, if you remember. I do not think I brought that with me. Though, I have a feeling I probably should. I don't think I brought it with me. But I'm just going. Yeah, I didn't have it on me. I do not. Okay, um, strangely enough, there's not much guy guess enemies besides those behind me. Oh, that one actually. Right over here. We got this two scene with two eyeballs right here. Suddenly lost or something. Now let's talk to these guys and see if they have new to say. Sebastian Chung was kidnapped. Okay, so 
Apple Kid was not the only one to be kidnapped. Apparently, we got another case where Tony and some guy named Jackson also be kidnapped as well. So shocking. He was just a great guy! Okay. Someone not so important was kidnapped. I mean, oh, the horror! The Apple Kid is kidnapped, but. This is horrible! So Jackson's the kidnapped guys! He's. Oh, wait. I can actually bring the pencil. I can actually bring the scene. Okay, um, yeah, I, can, I guess we can store something well as well, but... I guess we could go ahead and store Monkey's lives and like... Oh, there they are. Hey, Tan, can you get that for me? Um, hyper beam. Nope. We will not be using the high def that anymore because some of Jess' items are not sellable. Some of Smith's items are not sellable because for some reason they can't be sellable. Yeah, let's. Now let's equip. Now, what I really wanted to do is, I always have a habit of doing stuff by accident. Oh, uh, no! We're definitely wasting the mailman's time. Yeah, we totally made you have to walk all the way here. At this point, the company's gonna get mad at us. And then we'll not be allowed to but do any- And eventually we'll not be allowed to use our services because we're calling them for no reason. Alright, so... Okay, what you wanna bring is... Here's what you need to get. We need to find the pencil. Ah, there it is. The pencil ring. Nope. Yep. I actually remember this time. I remember to actually get the pencil eraser. Because I, most places, I never actually ever actually... Remember to actually bring that so I can make that shortcut. Yep, we can cover this. <laughs> yep, I have them showing them. Now, and once again, we shall set sail on Tessie, the derp dinosaur thing. Gotta say, it's been a while. It felt like for, it felt like a, it felt, it just felt like two days ago since we set sail on Tessie. Ah, what a sight, wasn't it? And once again, as whole, as a whole party, we get to experience it once again.
you for all the hub you've been to us, Tessie. And Monkey. Hope we see you again someday. Whenever that may be. And with that note, let's continue forward. And also here as well, there'll be more alien-like enemies as well. So of course, be on your guard. Okay, now, they're the same enemies you, you saw in the last section, so... If you use that shortcut I told, I told you about, and actually, actually were able to... And actually were able to actually bring it with you, then you, then you will not have to worry about going through the Big Road Dungeon. Now, if you were to go through the Big Road Dungeon... The Brick Road, the original Brick Road Dungeon... You will not have to worry about going through... You will not have to worry about any new monster spawning or any new dungeon. Because... It'll just be the same. But yeah, it'll just take a longer time to get... Plus it's more easier though. And with that, Chino is now level 47. I have learned of a new, but... Okay. Let us... Now let us use the pencil eraser one more time. Okay, now we fight the tree of the new enemies that we fought so far in this area. So let's take him down. As a few notes of the scene, I'm telling you now, I am not looking forward to the part that has going to be coming up. Because it will be a pain. In the areas coming up ahead, there is an item that Chino can get, and it is a pain to get. I won't even tell you how long it took me to get it. And I am not ready for this. As much detail as I want to go into it, but... I will wait for it. I will inform you more about it when we get to that destination. Okay, at this point in this cave, um... I don't... There is no new enemies whatsoever, I believe. So it does the same enemies you count in the cave in your sanctuary location. So there really isn't nothing new. So just really... You know, if you were to... Uh, uh, use that... You know, yeah, they're just... You know, they're terrified. Believable enough, there actually are new enemies here. We got not only have we have caveman, we also have bears now. So that's one little detail there. And we have arrived at the lab. Let's see what has happened. The only people that are here is the caveman and that mouse. And this revitalization device. Good night's sleep. Okay. As you can see, there is his mouse here. Let's talk to him. I've been waiting for you. My master apple kid completed his, this eraser eraser machine. When I was calling you, he was kidnapped. He felt like this! Escalation mark! Escalation mark! Escalation mark! Escalation mark! Escalation mark! I was there, but I was helpless. Sorry about that. Anyway, take this machine. You've got the eraser eraser. It is the same as the pencil eraser, but... What do you think it does? It's an, an eraser that erase erase. I can't explain... I. How much further do you want me to explain that? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and stand and store the pencil eraser because we will not be no longer. Okay. 
Okay, I... 258, I haven't gotten any new notifications yet. Supposing there isn't. Unless I'm wrong. Take the pencil eraser, we won't be needing it anymore. Ah, nothing else. Ah, how disappointing, you didn't get to hear my phone go off. Okay, in the next part of Let's Play Earthbound. Have fun, because I am not looking forward to this part. We must, however, we must get rescue the apple kid. But only, not only that. Most importantly, we must rescue Sebastian. Because he is like the most important guy ever. See you guys then.